NBA Live 16 is on some presidential. I'm talking about Shaq. NBA Live 16's dropping new bombs everywhere, guys. We got a new update on some gameplay. There's a lot of stuff in this article. As you can see, I'll scroll down. A lot of stuff. I'm just gonna try to go through it as much as I can. Don't want to make this a real long video, but guys, hit the like button if you're excited for NBA Live 16. Tell me what you're most excited about in the comments down below, and let's get right into it. So they're gonna start off with dribbling, as you can see. They're saying it's a lot of improved in the visual quality and responsiveness. So now um, the biggest thing I, I read when I was reading this is that you don't have to really hold the button in which direction for the signature move and watch them do it. That's a big word. Watch them do the signature move. Now you're in control so that you're not just watching the move, waiting for it to complete for you to take off in any direction. So it's going to be a lot more smooth in that uh, department. I like what they're saying there. As you can see, there's a lot of screenshots here. A lot of new teams, not a lot of new players. Like that Bucks screenshot, new Bucks uh, uniforms. Shooting, um, they talked about this some, but then they elaborated here. Um, it's basically talking about that if someone's closing out on you, you don't have to wait for the animation to complete to release the shot. So just because it's a little bit early, you're still gonna be a little bit more wide open than if you wait for the perfect release, then you'll be more contested. So you don't have to wait for the release to finish. So. That's good news right there. They also talked about around the rim. The layups are going to look different from the big man and the and the uh, smaller guys. It says right here, there's now a difference between how Tony Parker finishes and how James Harden Euro steps through traffic. They have signature dunks, sig signature step backs like Jamal Crawford's behind the back uh, step back. And the signature dunks, they're referring to Russell Westbrook uh, because, of course, that's a cover athlete. Um, it's talking about passing. They pretty much talked about everything. The touch passing so you can uh, get it to the open man quicker um, also the dribble handoffs saying how you can select which player you want the dribble handoff to go to but we got some more um, screenshots in the background um, says this is new I, I that I, from what I know the new catch and score system improves the responses to get shots off in all situations this not only allows players to get shots up before the defense can close out as quickly also quickly go up to the basket after a catch or cut so that's like if if you rotate the ball if you're rotating the ball and you see a cut and you you're hitting the cutter it's not like a quirky animation it's gonna be smooth so you can hit the open man and it'll actually look really nice look like real basketball um also let's see we got more passing controls obviously this talks about the screens a lot um, the screen and rescreen um, you can choose the screener everything like that see another screenshot there then we keep going down more and then it's just talking about at the end we've also added the ability to switch between a roll and a pop by pressing down the left stick it's just more things um, I mean that's pretty much it guys we got a lot of information I will leave a link down to the article below. Um, also, guys, if you subscribe to the channel, I'll be doing uh, updated uh, screenshots of NBA Live 16. So I'm going to update every single screenshot we've gotten so far. So if you subscribe to the channel, you're going to be the first to see it. Please subscribe. Please like the video. And like I said, comment what you're most excited for in this upcoming game. Guys, it's hype season. Let's go. Mr. Chris Move, and I'm out. Peace.